So welcome to lesson number 8, module 7 of the Big Data and Hadoop Developer course. So in this particular lesson, we will be demonstrating the join operations using the Hive query language. So before we proceed with the lesson, let's have a quick recap of the previous lesson. So in the previous lesson, we have learned about querying the tables using the Hive query language. So in this particular lesson, we will be having a look at what are joins, the types of joins, and we will be demonstrating the concept of joins. A join is an operation in more than one data set, that is two or more relations. So usually, when will the join happen is whenever you have two or more data sets. While performing a join operation, we refer to the common columns in both the data set and based on that the output can be produced. Now the join operator is used to combine records from two or more relations. While performing a join operation we declare one tuple or a group of tuples from each relation as keys. Whenever there is a match in this key the output is recorded otherwise it is dropped. Now there are four types of joins called inner join, left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. So first let's understand what is an inner join. Now imagine you have two data sets and there is a common column among the data set. Now when you perform an inner join, the process is going to compare both the data sets on the common column and wherever it finds a match in an entry on the common column, the results are displayed and wherever it cannot find common entries in the common columns in both the data sets, the results are not displayed. So in other words, rows that do not have matches are not included and the rows which has matches are actually shown. That's called an inner join and inner join is the default join operation in Hive. Now the other type of join is called outer join. In outer joins records which do not match the other record set are still included. So when you do an outer join between two data sets even if there are unmatched entries in the common column the results are still being displayed. Based on which data set is dominant, there are three types of outer joins called left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. In left outer join, the entries on the left hand side data sets are completely displayed whether there is a match or not in the right hand side data entry. And if on the left hand side data set, doesn't find a match on the right hand side data set, the left hand side data set tuples are maintained as it is while keeping null values for the right hand side data set. Compared to that, a right outer join will maintain all the tuples in the right hand side data set as it is whether it can find a match on the left hand side data set or not where there is a situation where in the right hand side data set cannot find a matching entry on the left hand side data set, the right hand side data entry tuple is kept as it is while keeping null values for the left hand side data set. When we do a full outer join, it returns rows when there is a match in one of the relation or in other ways the full outer join is a combination of left and right outer join. Now we'll be demonstrating all these join operation by creating one more data set. So if you have carefully observed our previous lessons in this module, we have already created a table called employee where we have the employee name, salary and the city. Now we will be creating one more, more, more data set and doing the join operation. Well, this is the input data that we have for the second table. Now, as you can guess, this input data contains name of the employee and the email address. So it has two columns. So here I'm creating a table called mail ID uh, so that we can upload our second set of data. And as you can see, the command is create table mail ID, name string, 
email string, row format, delimited fields terminated by comma. So the schema for this table is name and email, both string data type. So here I'm loading the input data that we have just shown to the table called email. So the command to do so is load data local in path slash home slash user slash email id dot txt into table mail id. And as you can see, I get an OK message which indicates that the command completed successfully. So here is a demonstration of the inner join command. The command that I have used is select a dot name comma a dot city comma a dot salary comma b dot email from employee a comma mail id b where a dot name equals b dot name. Here a and b are aliases which I am using to pick the data from both the data set. So as you can see from my command the employee table is the left hand side data set whereas the mail id is on the right hand side data set and i am reading the name city salary from the employee table and email from the email table and the join column or the common column here is the name column so both the data sets are having the common column called name and i'm performing an inner operation inner join operation as you can see, this fires a MapReduce job and at the end of the MapReduce job, we have only two entries because only John and Manish are having the email addresses in the second data sets. So a perfect join of these two are displayed in the output. So here is an example of the left outer join command. So the command is select a.name, a.city, a dot salary b dot email from employee a left out a join mail id b on a dot name equals b dot name as you can see i have just added the keyword called left outer to my previous command and this fires a map reduce job so what this will return is all the columns from my employee table and the columns or the tuples which are matching entries from my email ID table. So here you can see the final output and as, as you can see there are all the tuples from my employee table such as Roy, John, Raj, Manish, Rishu and Nalini with the city and salary. However, since Roy, Raj and Rishu and Nalini do not have corresponding entries in data set B, their values are kept as null in the final out output. So let's demonstrate the right outer join command. The command to type in is, is select a.name, a.city, a.salary, b.email from employee A, right outer join mail ID B on a.name equals b.name. This will display all the tuples from my, my mail id table and it will match that with the left left hand side data set which is, which is the employee table and wherever there is a ma match it will be displaying from, from the left data set and wherever is there is no match there will be a null value so here you can see the final output of my command and as you can see there are complete entries for john and manish because these two users exist on both the data sets Whereas for Nilesh, Deepak and Vijay, you have null values being displayed from the first data set. So this is a demonstration of the full outer join command. And the command is select a.name, a.city, a.salary, b.email from employee a, full outer join mail id, b on a.name equals b.name. As you can see, this returns a combination of left outer and right outer join whereas I have the complete entries from both the data sets and the joined entries where I can see null entries for not matching records. So to wrap up in this particular lesson we have learned about the join operation in Hive. That's all for this lesson.